Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be giving you my initial impressions on ARMS for the Nintendo Switch, which was just released today and has definitely been one of my most anticipated Switch titles for this year. Just because from the moment I first saw it, I had a feeling, a sort of suspicion, that this game might do something similar to the fighting game genre to what Super Smash Brothers did for it back in the day in terms of offering something really unique and special and different and interesting versus your sort of standard fare that you've become accustomed to in 2D and 3D fighting games up to this point. And I have to say, based on what I've seen of this game so far, having played it for a few hours now, I am completely and totally impressed with it. This is a stellar, stellar game from what I've seen of it so far. From the controls, which work equally well whether you're using a Switch Pro controller or the de facto motion controls that you'd be using if you were just using the system as it comes out of the box, there's something so fluid and refined and precise and satisfying about the way this game feels to play that it's really difficult for me to try to properly articulate it in a way that's not just completely hyperbolic because it's almost a game changer for me in terms of my expectations of what I would think you could get out of motion controls or this sort of over-the-shoulder 3D fighting game experience. The only thing that I can even vaguely compare this to would be something like Virtual On from back in the day where there was literally a special controller that was made specifically to make that game play as well as it did. And if you tried to play the game without the controller, you weren't quite getting the full experience out of it. The way this game completely and fully embraces the capabilities of the Joy-Con controllers on the Switch and nails the implementation of using the Pro Controller in lieu of those is just absolutely sublime. It really is a case where you almost have to play the game for yourself to fully appreciate just how amazing it is from a mechanical standpoint. Much like other games that I've talked about in the past where I think they transcend their genre to a point where playing them could make somebody a fan of a genre who doesn't have any history or typical inclination towards it. I think ARMS is a game that is so good and stands so tall on its own merits that even if you're not particularly interested in fighting games as a general rule, or even if you have a negative view of fighting games, say 2D fighters or 3D fighters in the past, this game is so fresh and innovative and well executed on pretty much every level that I think it would be worth it for you to give it a try and try to get some hands-on time with it and experience for yourself. This is that transcendent of a game experience in my opinion. Even in the handful of hours that I've spent with the game thus far, I can tell already that there is a sufficient level of depth and complexity to the gameplay experience that it's going to be the sort of thing that I'm going to be able to spend quite a bit of time with over the long haul. The different fighters, their different body types, their different movement styles, the different arms that you can equip to change up the way you fight, and the fact that you can mix and match those arms on the left and right side of your character just offer so many opportunities to dynamically change up the gameplay that I can see an almost infinite amount of potential replayability in this game if the core concept of it resonates with you as a player. Now obviously only having spent a few hours with this game I cannot give it a full review as I have not really spent a lot of time with the online play and only just basically dabbled in the mini games and such that are present as part of the package but I definitely would say based on what I've experienced so far that this is a game that any Switch owner should take a good hard look at because I am absolutely blown away by what I've experienced of it so far. If I did have any sort of criticism or any sort of point of caution or point of concern about any aspect of the gameplay experience 
I would say that I have come across one minor hiccup in my experience with the game, which is that sometimes when you go to throw punches in rapid succession, when you're not using your special ability and you're just supposed to be sending a flurry of punches at the enemy, the motion controls occasionally can misinterpret a quick left and right or right and left punch that occur right after one another as the simultaneous left and right punch that's used to initiate a grapple. But if I'm being completely honest about it, that's as much my own fault as a player as it is any fault of the actual motion controls. There's a very clear cadence and timing that's meant to be used under normal circumstances when alternating punches outside of the context of the special ability. And sometimes it can be easy to get a little overzealous and punch a little faster than the game actually wants or needs you to and accidentally trigger the grapple effect. This can be particularly important whenever you're going up against characters that have really strong counters to the grapple, as throwing it accidentally can put you in a pretty bad situation. But again, that's more so a case of me needing to adapt as a player to the way the game actually works, as opposed to there being any genuine flaw in the motion controls themselves. So, having said all that, I definitely am having a blast with ARMS so far. I definitely see myself playing quite a bit of this game for the foreseeable future and definitely absolutely getting my money's worth out of it. And I just really can't stress enough what a unique and compelling and special experience I think this game is. As always, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, be sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.